grilled cheese. You should be over there making some. Ava! Ava! It's Ava! Yo! It's Ava and Lana! <laughs> oh, in shape and whatnot. They have no idea what she's been through the past four months, but she's about to let everybody know. And speaking of Thomas, I haven't told you guys, but four months ago, we got a divorce. Uh, we got a divorce and he kicked me out onto the street with nothing but a hundred dollars. That's not what he's been telling us. And she's like, excuse me? It was, what? He's, he's been telling y'all things? And told us, you left him out of nowhere because of the baby. You just couldn't handle it no more. You just left and he didn't know where you went. And please don't go beat up Thomas. He's like, listen. Ain't nobody think about that boy. Maybe, maybe not. You know, I might, I might be strapped on the table. I might be thinking about it. But <gasps> oh no, I know. I, yo, yo, yo. I know. I know. This not who I think it is. Oh, we got the rumble. You know what? Clearly, he's here for a reason. He wants something. So, let's do this. Let's freaking do this. This guy. This freaking guy. He's like, I heard. I heard through the grapevine there was a meeting. So, I came to see what all the, all the fuss was about. Oh. My. God. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> Yo, Tatiana, do you see this? Do you do you see this? Get this fool! <laughs> That's right, insult his ass. He got some freaking nerve showing up here. She's like, "Are you kidding me? What are you doing here?" He's like, "Me, me. It's it's a it's it's a it's public space. You don't own Starbucks." You don't own freaking Starbucks. She's like, I ain't gotta own Starbucks. How did, what? You never, you have never in your life stepped foot in a freaking Starbucks. What are you even doing here? And he's like, like I said, you don't own it. Like I can come to Starbucks if I want to. And he's like, oh, oh, you let me find out you lose a little weight and now you think you're too good. Now you think you're too good for me, huh? And she's like, oh, oh, I was too good when you put your thing in another chick. That's when I was too good. Oh, y'all, y'all. Everybody, all the drama is popping up. Y'all, y'all, this, this is Thomas's mom. This is Kimberly, Thomas's mom. Let me, <laughs> oh my God, y'all getting so much lore today. Y'all is getting so much drama and backstory. Let me tell y'all about Miss Kimberly Oaks, okay? She got pregnant with Thomas when she was only 15 years old. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, y'all heard that right. And her, her baby daddy, was a freaking drug dealer. She ran away to go be with him. And y'all, her, her story, her, like I'm actually thinking about doing like a prequel LP featuring her story because y'all, when I tell you it's a mess, it is a mess. Miss Kimberly has been through a lot. And basically she is like the ultimate pick me boy mom. She has three sons and one daughter. She couldn't give two Fs about her daughter. She completely ignores the mess out of her daughter. All she cares about is her sons because she ain't got no man. Her drug dealer boyfriend, actually she broke up with him when she saw that Thomas was like starting to take after him too much. She's like, no, nah, I don't want my baby in the drug dealer because I don't want him, you know, in that life and possibly dying and whatnot. So she left and then ended up with someone else. Guy, you know, had two babies by him and then, um, yeah so now she got four kids and she is basically the ultimate pick me boy mom and <laughs> she's not old she's only 45 and she tries to dress like she's still in her 20s because you know she had to grow up early. she had to grow up fast because like I said she had Thomas at 15 so she didn't really get to live out all her childhood so she's kind of like um peaked in high school energy she's just she she never liked she never liked Tati y'all she could not stand Tatiana because she saw how in love her son was with her and she was like oh no you're not stealing my baby from me but um yeah all Thomas wanted when after when he was 15 and he met Tatiana all he wanted was to be around Tatiana to be with her all day and all night long and she and from that moment on she was like I know you didn't steal my baby like I gave birth to him I'm the one that gave up everything for him and you just stole my baby out from underneath me 
I don't think so. So she hated, she hated the mess out of Tatiana. She hated the, the absolute mess out of her. So they got a bad relationship. Matter of fact, oh, y'all come take a look at this. Look, look, they got a bad relationship. They've always had a bad relationship because she couldn't stand her. And so when she found out that he divorced her, she was happy. And then when he told her, he found out that she was going to be here. And she was like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not about to have you go chasing after this little girl again. Like, she had you wrapped around her finger for decades. No. Like, you finally got free of her. Go be free. Like, you're a professional athlete. You got women lined up out the door. Like, why is you chasing after this girl? Like, she ain't all that. <laughs> like, oh, I can't. Yeah, I can't stand Kimberly. I can't stand. It's like, on one hand, I feel for her because I know her backstory. On the other hand, I can't stand her because she's such a pick me and a boy mom and I can't stand her. But anyways, like, leave my girl Tati alone, Kimberly. It's not our fault your son is a piece of ish. Like, you raised him. You did that. Anyways, so, y'all, the reason why Thomas found out she was here is because Lana's freaking husband told him. Yep. Yep. Lana's told, Lana's husband is a snitch. We got a snake in our midst. Uh, to be fair to Lana's husband, he from what he he thinks that she that Tatiana dumped him and like broke his heart he doesn't know it's the other way around so in his mind all he, he's thinking he's helping out like this broken hearted man who just wants to win back his wife he doesn't know the full story so you know we'll forgive Lana's husband for this this blunder but um yeah oh man y'all it's just nothing but drama look at this look at this mess got a cheat next a pick me boy mom and then like a woman who's just trying to get her life together and she's like why, why am i being drug br br drug back into this mess i just got my ish together i just got my ish together and here goes thomas this fool <sighs> what is this festering bitterness festering Fe uh, oh, you, oh, 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 you got some nerve you got some nerve having bitterness you, you the one that cheated. You, oh my God. Yo, this man, he has no self-awareness at all. None. Like he, the, the absolute audacity, the absolute audacity. How you the one with bitterness when you the one that cheated, you the one that demanded the divorce and you the one that kicked her out on the street and you the one that got festering bitterness. Yo, the gall, the gumption. Yo, the level of audacity, I've never even seen it. I've never seen this level of audacity before. And then you then you brought your mama with you, even though you didn't. She just she's just a stalker who followed you here because she didn't want you to get back with Tatiana. But still, oh my goodness. This fool. He let me accuse her. He's about to he, yeah, yell at her and accuse her like yeah, like I see you like I see you with you know, new clothes on. We we get money for for new clothes, huh? Like I know you wasn't at your parents. I know you want. I know you didn't get it from Lana or Ava because you weren't there neither. So where you been at? Where you been? She's like, that ain't none of your business. That ain't none of your freaking business. Where I been? You kicked me out. And he's like, nah, nah. See, you must have had someone on the side. Cause where you been? And then who you who you out here losing weight for? Who you trying to look good for? She's like, myself, fool. And even if I did have somebody, that ain't none of your business. He's like, oh, it ain't none of my business. I'm your husband. No, you not. No, you not. <laughs> no, you not insult her and then she is going to um he's like you don't fool me you do not fool me like look look at your clothes you can't afford no clothes all you have with a hundred dollars where you get money for an outfit for she's like for your information you know what actually i don't i don't owe you any explanation i don't owe you nothing i don't even know why you hate woohoo you know what i'm messy enough to do it but i'm not gonna do it i'm not I'm not gonna look 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 at Lana Lana give him get get him Lana get look yo yo look at Lana Lana with the loyal trait Lana like you ain't gonna talk to my girl like that you ain't gonna come up here after you the one that was out here cheating and accuse her of cheating what what's that what's that it's called projection homie it's called projection don't project your nastiness onto our girl you was the one out here cheating he's like listen I ain't trying to hear all that I ain't trying to hear all that the point is I want to know where you been and she's like oh but the point is for me that ain't none of your business okay I'm not your wife anymore he's like oh is that right is that right yeah that's right yeah that's right you know what girl <laughs> can we slap him criticize woohoo technique yeah criticize his woohoo technique even though that would be a lie like homie can put it down but you know what oh <laughs> oh 
Y'all, she knows she lying, but you know what? Anything to hit on where it hurts. Oh, they despise each other now? Wow, that's crazy. He's like, you know what? I know you was out here screwing somebody else because there's no way. There's no way that you, because if you was, look, look at Lana. Lana's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, we ride it out over here. Don't be yelling at my girl. Oh, and we know you a liar too, telling me and my husband that she the one that left you and tried to like smear her name. You just, ugh. Y'all, this man got our blood pressure all raised. He got my blood pressure high. And Lana is ready to throw down. Did you, do y'all see every time he yells at her, Lana comes running like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Lana is that ride or die friend. And look, 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 look at this fool. Look at him. Look at him. Aggravating conversation. He finna go kick a trash can. Yeah, you go kick a trash can, fool. You should never brought yourself here. Nobody told you to come here. You invited yourself. Being a stalker. That's what you get. That's what you get, fool. Look at him. Having regrets? Hmm? Hmm? Having regrets, dear guy? What in the... What? What? Girl, now you over here busting it down in some purple heels and a red skirt, okay? Lana like, listen, I ain't going no... Oh, and her parents are just over there in the cut just listening like, sweetie? Sweetie, you want us to handle him? And she's like, nah, I got this, I got this. I don't even know how he even know I was here. Ooh, child, when Lana found out her husband was the one that told him they was here, homie gonna be in trouble. And look, here come Ava. Everybody's like, I heard, I heard that was beef. I heard that was beef. I heard that was drama. He's like, listen, she her own woman. Like, why is y'all, dang. Like, can y'all let, she can fight her own battles. Goodness. But see, I told y'all, I told y'all, Lana had a, has a, not Lana, Tatiana has a support system, okay? Look, he finna come criticize her woo-woo technique back. Like, yeah, okay, you think my, you think my, my, my wee-wee trash? Yo, BB trash. Uh, Laho. She's like, boy, please, you can't get enough of this. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, is that why, well, that, I got, I got women lined up out the door. She's like, okay, well, then why is you here? Why is you here bothering me? And look, he comes, y'all, every single time, Lana is right there. Lana, look at Lana. Lana does not play, bro. <laughs> Y'all, I freaking love Lana. Lana, Lana gets down. She does not play. She does not play. Like, you ain't gonna yell at my bestie. I don't think so. Especially, look, Ma! Mama! Yo, uh-uh, nah, Ma. You ain't gonna act like we just see you just busting it down like that. Anyways, back to yelling at our ex. She's like, can you leave? Like, you're not wanted here. You is not one to hear. try to calm down. No, I don't try to calm. Don't check on him on, on this fool. Oh, where he going? What to kick a trash can again? <laughs> this guy, this fool. Okay, y'all. I need to give y'all some lore real quick. I was gonna like show y'all, but yeah, I'm, I might as well just tell y'all right now. So here's some lore that's going down in the background that Tatiana does not know about. This fool, <clears throat> actually, the chick he was cheating with. Wait, what's going on here? Her? What you hurt for, bro? You and Lana was never that close. Like, Lana always kept him at, like, arm's length. She, like, she liked him because she liked the, how he treated her in the beginning, how he treated Tatiana in the beginning, but I don't know. That was always something about him that she just didn't trust. Even though he was a good um, boyfriend and husband to Tatiana for a long time, but for some, but there was just something in the back of her head that just kind of always nagged at her. And look at her husband this fool just oblivious to all the drama he done brought to <laughs> he's just so oblivious to everything he has brought to this to the starbucks like you got these people up in the starbucks acting wow man you just at home chilling don't even know what you done did talking about her boy you and lana was never that close you always know you knew lana would choose tatiana over you don't even try it don't even try it anyways Tatiana is like, oh my god, I just got my life together. Like, here this fool come when I get some peace, get some happiness bothering me. Like, what? <clears throat> and here he come. Oh my goodness. Tell him to leave. Can you tell him to leave? You know what? Can we fight him? Malicious. Nah, don't don't try to walk away now. Can she slap him? I just want her to slap him. Throw it, yeah, throw a drink in his face. Be like, you know what, this, this is payback, fool. 
go throw a drink in his face, Tati. And look, here come Ava Mama. Listen, I'm telling y'all, when things go down with Tati, everybody comes running. Yeah, that's right. Boom. She's like, yeah, that's what you get, fool. He's like, oh, you so childish. You so childish. And she's like, oh, I'm childish? And then there go her mom in the background busting it down. Oh, my God. Anyways, right. I was supposed to be telling y'all some lore. So here's some lore that's going on in the background that Tati does not know about. And, oh, I'm so happy she don't know about this because, y'all, I don't know what it would do. So this fool currently uh where that foot where that where that chick at so y'all remember why is she not listening here that's crazy anyways <laughs> so y'all remember that chick from the first episode that she called him cheating with yeah homegirl homegirl is pregnant mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah y'all heard that right she's pregnant with his baby but before before y'all are ready to get the, get the pitchforks out and ready to end this guy he did not get her pregnant on purpose i just want to make that clear he was using condoms like condoms on condoms on condoms on condoms but Here's where he messed up at. He kept the condoms at old girl place because obviously him and Tatiana was trying to have a baby. So there was no need to have condoms at his house. So he's like, oh, if I get caught with these in my house, like she gonna get suspicious. So he kept them at, you know, at the sad bitch's house. And that girl poked holes in the condom. Yep, yep, she poked holes in the condom to get pregnant on purpose. What an absolute piece of trash. And he now knows that, you know, there's some chick out there pregnant with his baby. And he's he's real upset about it. Because, like, in his mind, the only person he ever wanted to have children with was Tatiana. And he's like, listen, if I'm not having kids with Tatiana, I don't want them. <laughs> oh, but on the other hand, he is kind of happy about the kid. Because, like, he does want kids. But he wanted them with Tatiana. So he has he has mixed emotions. It's like, on one hand, he's happy to be having a kid. But on the other hand, he's like, it's with uh, the wrong woman. So she has no idea that this fool technically got some other chick pregnant on her while she was grieving and going through depression and was married to him. Uh, but good thing she don't know. And I don't know why he came here. Because he already knows that as soon as she finds out and like does the math to find out that he got some chick pregnant on her while she was in depression, grieving their baby. Oh, it's it's done. It's a wrap. She ain't never coming back to him. And he knows that. That's why he's trying to hurry up and quickly, like, get her back. And he didn't even know, y'all, he didn't even know she had lost weight. He didn't know. Like, he thought she was still big. So, in his mind, he's like, listen, I could easily get her back. Because, like I said, you know, like, she, you know, who gonna want her? Like, she's at, she was at her lowest. And then when he walked in and saw her looking like that, he's like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no 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 like this wasn't supposed to be this isn't how it was supposed to be like she was supposed to still be miserable probably on the street doing god knows what but then i walk in and she's looking like that she's looking like that like she looks good she's dressed okay i mean you know like she i mean she ain't dressing how she usually dressed this dress kind of like cheap like a ten dollar dress but you know what i mean it looked good on her though and he's just he's flabbergasted he don't even know how to handle this right now because like he really thought he was about to see her and immediately get her back because he thought she was still gonna be at her lowest point it was probably gonna be like desperate but she's not and he don't know how to deal with it because he thought that would be the only way he would keep, he could get her back is if she was desperate because like emotionally Tatiana is who he, who he loved but like while she was big he wasn't attracted to her but now that she you know has lost weight he's like dang you know you look like who I was in love with in the beginning, you know, like emotionally I want you and now physically I want you again. But, you know, seeing how this all just went down, he's like, oh no, like have I lost her forever? He don't, he don't know. Like homeboy is stressed. Like he's still, he's still very much in love with her, but she don't want nothing to do with him. <laughs> She's like, fool, I don't know in what delusional planet you live on where you think you're going to cheat on me and then divorce me and then kick me out onto the street with number a hundred dollars and think that there is a universe where I would want to get back with you and she don't even know about the baby yet that baby will just be the icing on top of the cake where she would just be done done with him and honestly y'all I'm kind of sad because I know their backstory and their backstory they were so in love y'all so freaking in love it's so hard to see two people who was like basically soulmates end up like this this is just ah <sighs> it's a mess it is an absolute freaking mess, y'all. <sighs> Such is life. It is what it is at this point. So he don't know what to do. He does not know what to do. He definitely still like wants her and wants to get back with her, but he doesn't know how to go about it. But he's still going to keep trying. <laughs> so this is not the last we will see of Thomas. That's for sure. She's like, we're done. We're over. Don't ever come around me again. Like, if you hear I'm going to be somewhere, don't be there. And he's like, man, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> She's like, okay, bye. Like, I'm done. I'm over this. I'm leaving. 
you know, our girl, her energy is low, so she's finna get a bone out of here. Ooh, look, 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 Ava Mama don't like him neither. Yo, everybody do not like him. Everybody is ready to put them hands on him. They is all ready to put the hands on this guy. Like, this fool. Ava's like, yeah, leave. Like, you ain't want to hear. Like, we know you was lying. We know you were cheating, scumbag. And he's like, man, whatever. Like, y'all don't know nothing. Like, stay out of me and Tatiana's relationship. Speaking of Tatiana, where in the world is she? Oh, she over here. Like, Lana. Like, my ride or die. B. Like, I, you always got my bad girl. <laughs> She's like, oh, you know, you already know. You already know. She's like, Lana, I love you so freaking much, girl. Like, but you know I can handle him. Like, don't don't worry. He's just, he's he's trash. Look at her. She called him trash. And Lana's like, girl, I know, I know you can handle yourself, but still, like, you know, if I see someone attacking my bestie, someone I love, I'm just, I can't help myself. I can't, you know, like I'm, you know, I don't stand for that mess. And she's like, oh, girl, I already know, and I love you so freaking much for that. But I got to get out of here because I got work in the morning, so and I'm tired, so I got to go. It is, yo, it's 12 a.m. They they've been here all day. They've been here all freaking day. Okay, girl, yeah, it's time to go home. Oh, y'all. <laughs> I'm so happy we got to see her friends and whatnot and her parents. All right, y'all. We is back at the motel. I think this is where we're going to end the episode. It was a crazy drama-filled episode. I can't believe that fool showed up. But you know what? We handled him. We did that. We did that. So I will see y'all in the next episode. And make sure if you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.